mentioned here, including Wiebke H., who is said to have been in the camp since 1995. Just like in a prison, someone come in, time to get up, time to get up, security guard, 10 minutes, wash, dress, and then you're outside standing in the, you know, freezing early morning in California, shaking, they do a roll call, they count you just like they do in jail. They count how many people are there, make sure no one is missing. And then you're told what you're going to do for that day. You eat a meal for 20 minutes, and then you're, you're working. In the near vicinity of the company's private golf course and the football field in Gilman Hot Springs is another attraction in the Scientology program, a circular spot. In the middle is a palm tree. That's not meant for harmless games. That spot is for running. Today, clockwise, and tomorrow, counterclockwise around. The newest addition is said to be a water sprinkling system for overheated souls. He put a big maypole in, in uh, the Gilman Hot Spring location, and people had to run around it all day. And it was a punishment for people who he thought had suddenly become PDAs. And you do it from the moment you wake up until you go to sleep. You just run around the pole day and night for weeks on end. Twelve hours a day. Around that pole? Yeah. Um, Until you realize that you had been uh, faulty in your thinking and, and uh, were ready to think straight again and be a proper Scientologist. Is that how it worked for Veep Cage? Did she also spend days on this spot? Whip Gage, the successful manager, what became of her? Letters to her brother. She wrote the last one June 1998. Her brother showed them to us as a sign that she was still alive. She said things were going splendidly with her and she was having a lot of fun. The lines she wrote give the impression that everything is okay. Supposedly nothing is happening with his older sister, which he needs to be concerned about. Where is she exactly and is she doing well? Einerseits. On the one side, I know that she has done this voluntarily and on her own. On the other side, of course, it is clear to me that her thought is being manipulated. What is the extent of freedom? Where is the part where I can say with certainty that she wants things that way? I have to leave that up to her if I accept her as an equal. On the other hand, one asks... If she is manipulated, what happened when she spent three years in this rehabilitation center? Are the trouble and the effort which she has taken upon herself worthwhile? What happens when a monk goes into a cloister and talks with nobody for three months? If one goes to a hermitage, what happens then? Must we permit that? Is it only unpleasant because she's my sister and it happened to us in the middle of Hamburg? Was ist das? Müssen wir das zulassen? Ist es nur unangenehm, weil es meine Schwester ist und uns das hier mitten in Hamburg passiert? It's difficult for me. Schwierig für mich. Back to Clearwater, to the picket being held by the former Scientologists. This is Frank Oliver. He was an agent of the Secret Service of Scientology, OSA for short. That was me addressing a member of Scientology's Office of Special Affairs, probably, trying to get a picture of me as a former member of the Office. By 1996, the Munich state attorney had already found out that Scientology used undercover intelligence methods as defense against inner and external enemies and that it would not stop at criminal actions. The Office of Special Affairs is set up in Scientology uh, with two, goal, pr two purposes in mind. Uh, one is um, the Office of Special Affairs to handle PR and the other is investigation. One works hand in hand with the other where there are areas um, that the church believes are uh, detrimental to society, for example, in the areas of psychiatry, in the areas of um, the IRS, abuse maybe. Scientology sets up their investigative machine to work and then uses the information that they garner from that with their PR machine that they have, which is what they, what they go out and they try and publicize information. Now, it's not for the purpose of the general good of the populace. It's very self-serving. This document clearly shows what assignments are waiting for OSA agents. Infiltration, bribery, buying information, robbery, blackmail. The 
investigations person, you hardly ever see them. They're the ones in the shadows finding out the dirt on everyone and everything. Journalism. Critics every, and bringing that to the PR so the PR can use it to make Scientology look good and to make them look, the other person look bad. Right. So that's how it works. They work with each other. Osa is also involved in monitoring telephones. We have a list of telephone numbers called from a public telephone booth in Miami. The assignment was to observe these booths in order to investigate the calls. They had so many projects going on at the time that my main purpose for being there was to be in the CAN unit, but they would pull me out of that room and put me on other related projects to, you know, move them along a little bit. Um, I remember sitting in a room and having to go through a, a printout of someone's phone bill and find out who all the phone numbers belonged to. I don't know how I got a copy of someone's private phone bill. Preps by burglary? A training document for Scientology agents, which was confiscated by the FBI, shows that the organization will not stop at burglary, along with exact descriptions how to break through door locks and even saves is covered. Pull your prepared metal strip from the lower end of the door to the strike plate of the lock and the door pops open. If you have problems inserting it, use your foot to hold the door open a crack. Your top guy is Mike Rinder. He's the executive director of the Office of Special Affairs. He knows everything that's going on, and above him is David Miscavige. Everything goes from him to him, directly. Hollywood Boulevard, Los Angeles. Workplace of Mike Rinder and gathering point for Oza. This is where the information is evaluated and prepared for further action. That not only includes Germany, Scientology is declared arch enemy, but also the federal German Ministry for Family, Youth and Health. The message of operation against the enemy and the goal of the OSA agents is that one learns all his plans for the future and uses the material gathered either to bring him to court or to discredit him so that no one longer believes his statements. Osa is his, you know, that is, that's his number one thing right now. That's what he has to have in place. If not, Scientology would have been gone long ago. So Osa keeps Scientology alive? Absolutely. You're blocking us. You're arresting us. You are not allowed to block us, you know? They have refused to leave. Nobody is blocking you. You're blocking us? Fine! I'm placing you under citizen's arrest right now. Osa in action. We wanted to go to Happy Valley to see Whip GH. However, our drive was stopped short by a roadblock. We were held up for over two hours on the open road, scolded, yelled at, threatened. There was no way out. What or whom were they concealing there? Many questions remain unanswered. You're asked to do things that are illegal. You're asked to do criminal things, you know, in your position. And then pretty soon, you know, you're doing it, everyone else is doing it. 